Welcome back, everybody. Noel Navarro here with videographer Therese Leedy. We are in the Emerald City. It's the Manistique Farmer and Artisan Market. It's wonderful. It just kicked off already here, going till 6.30 p.m., featuring local produce, farm fresh po produce, and also crafts. So you got the artsy feel in you. You got it here, too. And if you're hungry, I got to tell you, it's looking good over here. Just to my left, Styes, guys, UP barbecue, smoke to perfection, sauteed steak and melted cheese. I believe Cody Boyer salivating in the newsroom right now. Cody, I'll probably get you on here if I humiliate you in the newsroom. But, you know, it's wonderful out. Just overall in the upper Michigan. Beach weather, this is ideal. And it's, you know what? I got sunscreen on right now. You still, I think you ought to bet it's safe to have the sunscreen before the sun starts to dip around, say, 7 or 8 p.m. Then it's going to be less dangerous. But it's just beautiful to soak in the rays, soak in the energy out here. And again, this is going until 6.30 p.m. So enjoy. And if you're looking for plants to get, we got Schoolcraft Conservation District out there selling plants and the MSU Extension as well. We're going to go talk with some of the vendors as we continue on for your news tonight and early news. And there you go. How's it going? Good. Yeah, it's, it's good to be with everybody. And we're here to join, and I hope you enjoy it out here. So wonderful weather out there. We'll take a look at our Almanac data. Mid-80s over at National Weather Service Marquette. Weather forecast off. It's been above average all over the place, and I've seen highs 92 degrees from Pelkey to Kenton. Those are the highest readings so far. And also, the rain. Oh. We had a dumping of rain around Garden overnight here, over an inch in a span of less than two hours early Wednesday morning. So we had plentiful rain out there, but overall for this month, it's below average. But if you look at the year average for National Weather Service Marquette, we're above the average there. You know, it's, it's good to see that trend here. You know, I like to see the rain, but the thing is the rain comes in heavy heaps, right? Sometimes in a short amount of time, it ruins the crops, but the crops are looking good what's being produced here today at the farmer's market. So let's take a look at your Sure temperatures for overnight. We're going to look at lows that are ranging anywhere from the 60s to the lower 70s. Again, the threat of patchy fog towards your morning. And as we get towards morning, there's that threat of rain and thunderstorms in the western UP. What a kickoff it is to August here in Upper Michigan. For the interior, temperatures could fall to the upper 50s. It's an overall mild night in Upper Michigan and a good night to go check out the Aurora for tomorrow afternoon. Light showers over the eastern UP. The stormy threat will be around the southern western portions of the region, specifically towards areas like the Wisconsin border. Highs will range from the upper 70s to the upper 80s along the shores for the inland areas of the UP, lower 80s to some lower 90s, a few 90s like we got for today. And your satellite radar pattern, we got to take a look at that pattern. High pressure put the lid on thunderstorm chances tonight, folks, but that's going to kick up thanks to a northern plane system coming to your future radar. Uh, we're looking like we're going to look at the, the arrival of the rain to come around the western UP around 8, 9 p.m. AM Eastern time and it'll start to stick around areas west and central and where we see the thunderstorms will be towards the afternoon early evening hours across the interior west and central so really southwest UP is where the storm threat is and as we get towards the evening for Thursday it's going to clear out and you know what we've got more sunshine in store for your Friday now we'll take a look at the precipitation forecast over an inch of rainfall is possible closer to the Wisconsin border talking about Iron River Crystal Falls and Ranville and that's going to be towards the afternoon hours of your Thursday. Storm Prediction Center, they have the outlook to where there's an isolated risk of severe thunderstorms over the west end. What does that entail? We got the Storm Prediction Center's isolated hazards. The large hail and damaging winds are possible for then. So we, I have everything listed from what to expect and what to prevent in, in terms of safety over there in your graphic. The jet stream, we got to see the jet stream because it's been a sweltering stretch in the UP. Well, as we move forward towards the weekend, we're in for a dip of cooler air coming in from the north and then you know what it'll also do it'll scour out the humidity check out your muggy forecast comfortable levels sunday and even through parts of next week to tuesday before we start to get humid again onto your tv6 extended forecast we heat up to a few 90s for your friday and then for the weekend there's a chance for evening thunderstorms saturday but once we get over that here comes some breezy north winds to usher in mild summer temperatures and less humid air to upper michigan i hope we can get it right now because i don't know if you come back to me on camera my glasses are ready to fall out and I don't even want to take them I'm not even going to try to fix them because you know why it's nice and it's hot and humid out here but at the same time you can enjoy it while it lasts here in upper Michigan but remember there's some relief on the way Noel we'll send it back to you over there in the studio Ben and we'll have uh, more interviews to come for TV6 early news and TV6 news tonight